Welcome, fellow YouTubers. This is keeping it real awesome. I know it's been a minute. It's been longer than a minute. It's been about two, maybe three months since I made a video. I'm a busy guy. It's the holiday season. Holiday season means busy, 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 busy. And when you are the must, most have worker of all time and you have three to four jobs, you spread yourself thin, find a little time to make videos. So here I am. I'm back. Got a new video. So let's get this thing kicking. We're nine days away till Christmas. What does that mean? Last minute Christmas shopping. For those people who haven't been Christmas shopping since Black Friday, which, might I add, I was expecting pandemonia and it being crazy since now, you know, Black Friday is not a traditional Black Friday where it starts at 5 a.m. It started at 8 p.m. on Thanksgiving Day. And I guarantee next year it will be mandatory for all people to be open on Thanksgiving Day because spending time with your family, well, I guess it's overrated now because retail has taken over Thanksgiving. Thanks, retail. I love it. Bazinga. Now, they had some okay sweet deals Black Friday none that you know jumped out at me that I had to go out and go get you know because I was stuck you know working but uh I heard some crazy stuff lady got arrested some lady stabbed three people in Chicago for Xbox One and she said she'd do it again seriously man you think people would have learned the last time when PlayStation 3 Xbox 360 and the Wii came out a couple years back when all the people went nuts and trampled over people and killed a couple people. But hey, let's get security and buff them up so this kind of stuff doesn't happen. Well, I guess they had security. I don't know. But hey, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, two of the most successful systems have already sold 2.5 million units. And I think it's 1.5 million worldwide. So would that be 4 million units sold already? And it's a hot commodity. Every day people are asking for PS4, PS4, PS4. And then you got that, you know, select few people who actually ask for an Xbox One. Because, you know, it's always watching you. So why would you want that, you know, because it's always listening, even though it's not optional to have it on, but you know it's on, so that you can say, Xbox One, play a game, Xbox One, go away, which, that doesn't work, it just sits there and looks at you. Uh, you know, I've missed y'all, you know, I love making videos, I love interacting with y'all. And you already know, you can follow me on Twitter at TheAwesomeBiz. And hey, I follow back most of the time if you follow me. I don't play, you know, hey, I have 1.4K followers, team follow back and everything, but yet I'm only following 103 people. Yeah, you're team follow back, all right? Hey, I just recently hit 10K, well, following people. I still have about 400 more followers to go till I hit 10k. That's pretty impressive, you know, for Twitter. I'm not saying I'm Twitter famous, and I'm definitely not saying I'm YouTube famous yet, but hey, I'm pretty famous as it is. Even though I only have a hand select few people walk up, it's like, oh, dude, you're Mr. Awesome. I love your show. I love your videos. But I do have a couple of my peeps who've asked, like, dude, do you even make videos anymore? I was like, man, dude, I'm busy, I work a lot, I want to make videos, and I've kind of had writer's block, you know, not knowing what to do in my videos, but hey, it's all good, I'm here in my awesome Deadpool beanie, awesome Deadpool shirt, because Deadpool rules, now, there's a couple things that, you know, I've missed. This past November, Watch Dogs was supposed to be released. 
but yet it got pushed back till next year, July 1st, I believe. Man, I was looking forward to Watchtower, because I was like, oh, cool, you know, I'm going to go slap $5 down on it, you know, or 25 on the Collector's Edition. Then I learned it got pushed back. I was like, what? And then South Park got pushed back? I was like, man, like, all the good games, that, you know, that the last few games I was looking forward to, boom, 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 all got pushed back. I'm like, okay, I can wait till 2014. It's cool. Now, I have been playing WWE 2K14. Now, I was a little hesitant about it, you know, because it's not made by THQ. I gotta say, it's a pretty great game. Even though I feel like the 30 years of WrestleMania left out some awesome matches. Like, why do I have to go on Legend Difficulty mode to unlock Eddie Guerrero when we could have just had WrestleMania 20 match, Eddie versus Brock for the WWE Championship, and Eddie wins and he's unlocked? That was a classic WrestleMania moment, if you ask me. And yet again, why is it TLC part of Legends of the WrestleMania moment? Hardy Boys, Dougley Boys, Edge and Christian, classic WrestleMania match. Should have been in there, but nope, it's not. Next time they handpick matches from WrestleMania, I can understand the first 10 WrestleManias, those matches were great, but the ones from 2000 and up should have been picked by the fans. Seriously. Heck, even though they don't like mentioning Chris Benoit, I still think should have been Triple H, HBK, Chris Benoit for the World Heavyweight Championship match. Should have been in that mode, but of course not. They probably would have just been HBK, Triple H versus Vacant Triple Threat match. Still would have been worth playing though. Well, this has been keeping it real awesome. Like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at the awesome biz, and always keep it awesome. Peace.